It's a moment when we finish the survey. <clears throat> it's almost like a five, uh, around five o'clock in the afternoon. I was standing on the deck, our survey boat. One of a sudden you realize that below 30 meters at the sea floor, there were uh, 828 Allied soldiers there. That, that's a big number. That the water young should, people. Yeah, young, all young generation. It's like my son's age, 20 plus years, typically. And then, you know, where they came from? Why they are here? What happened here? So that's a very strong curiosity and also deep, sad feeling about them. They are so far away from Europe, right in front of our gate. So, so there's a touching point. You remembered those lost life and the forgotten men. So when I returned to the shore, <clears throat> then I heard the only surviving and the POW, Dennis Morley, who is 98 years old already. There are only alive fishermen who rescued the uh, POW, Mr. Lin. Uh, he is uh, 94 years old. Then you know the time is short. critical, very short. Yeah. That's a, I, I believe that's the last window. If we don't do anything, we're going to lose the, all the oral history. So at that time, I proposed to my friends, why don't we go rescue the history and uh, go interview to UK and uh, Fishing Village. So that's the beginning and motivation is to rescue the, and the oral history. I mean, now, of course, like we live in, a, you, you said, you know, we live in peaceful time, but of course, I mean, it's uncertainty. Uh, for the future and with uh, ongoing, like at least two conflicts, right? One being Ukraine, one being in the Middle East. What was the thing we learned from the lesson of thinking of Lisbon, Maro, or the war? I think uh, the lesson everybody wants to learn is for any war, there's no winner. And uh, for people, for normal people, there's no winner, you know. Any war happened, the civilians, families, is uh, the victims, always. Not for the politician, but for the normal people, suffer a lot.